In the meantime, government cannot really do anything or even put measures in place in assistance of local farmers who already suffer the consequences of the newly implemented veterinary restrictions by South Africa on the import of Namibian livestock. Instead, all they can do is wait on the results of current negotiations underway between the two countries. When asked whether any measures are being put in place to assist local farmers during this time, this was the response of the Minister of Agriculture, John Mutarva. I can only say the following. There was a deadline of 31st of May and we will just take as government and the industry things step by step. I do not want to make any false you know, kind of uh, promise. It's a serious matter, but uh, we hope with time maybe we'll get some kind of solution, whether it is that market or other markets, but that's where we are for now. While talks are underway between the two countries, Namibia is currently losing out immensely in the export of livestock, which forms a massive part of the agriculture sector. For us as a sector, we are geared towards producing for our local market, that is for Miko, for flay meat, for our uh, butchers uh, within the country, uh, that is the Oxford thing with slaughter cattle. But unfortunately, we produce more that we can slaughter. And that's why the market in South Africa, specifically our traditional market, that is the feedlots, is so important for our wieners on the one hand. Secondly, for our goats. We do not have any other market for our goats other than the uh, traditional KwaZulu-Natal market uh, for our goats. The agriculture sector is currently the number two contributor to the country's gross domestic product. This could be affected drastically should the issues regarding livestock exports not be resolved. Franchu Olafir reporting for the News on One.